Officials here in Jerusalem are furious at the BBC over what they say is more evidence of the news network's anti-Israel bias. On its Olympic Games website, the BBC is refusing to call Jerusalem the capital of Israel. All the other internationally recognized nations on the BBC's list have a capital heading followed by a name, but in the case of Israel, Jerusalem is described as, quote, a seat of government. And that's after a change was already made. When the BBC first posted Israel's country profile, Jerusalem was not in the information box. It was a country listed without a capital. Here's where the critics say the BBC's undeniable political bias showed up on their Olympic page for Palestine. On a country that still does not exist, the BBC chose to give Palestine a, quote, capital, calling it East Jerusalem. Israeli officials were incensed, accusing the BBC of pushing their own political position, discrimination against Israel, and misinformation. Palestine does not yet exist. I understand that BBC would like it to be otherwise. I would also like for Palestine to exist, but right now it doesn't, and it doesn't yet have a capital. One day it will, and East Jerusalem will be its capital, but that's not the situation right now. And BBC is supposed to stick to the facts and not to ideology, and that's not what they were doing, and that's not serious for a news organization. Prime Minister Netanyahu got involved. His spokesman Mark Regev drafted a letter to the BBC bureau chief in Israel demanding a change. The letter stated that Jerusalem is the, quote, capital of the state of Israel, and accordingly, we respectfully request the immediate rectification of this matter. Israel has always considered Jerusalem its capital, even before it captured parts of East Jerusalem in the 1967 Six-Day War. It later legally annexed the eastern section of the city. Most of the international community, including the U.S., considers Jerusalem a contested capital. Palestinians want East Jerusalem to be the capital of their future state, a key demand in the peace negotiations. Following the letter from the Prime Minister's office, the BBC changed both the Israel and Palestine country pages. The network still denied Israel a capital, calling Jerusalem a, quote, seat of government, and adding that most embassies are located in Tel Aviv. For many, that change is still unsatisfactory. You could see that the BBC are really finding it so difficult to state the basic fact. The capital of Israel is Jerusalem. I know it's difficult for them. I know they still have a hard time getting over the fact that the British Empire is no longer here. On the Palestine page, the category of capital was replaced with the words intended seat of government. And East Jerusalem is listed, along with Ramallah, as the administrative capital. Explaining the impetus to make change, the BBC says an online lobby sent many complaints about the issue, but did not provide more specifics. So how does the BBC explain what happened? A BBC Olympic official said an error was made when the data was uploaded. Few Israelis believe the error was a technological accident. Instead, it's seen here as another glaring example of anti-Israel bias in the foreign media. We are now engaged in a battle of ideas, of narratives, of words, and people, including news organizations, are engaged in this battle. And this is a battle to undermine Israel, to delegitimize Israel. And in this battle, those who are fighting Israel are behaving as if all is fair. Lies, lies, and lies are the key tool being used by those trying to undermine and delegitimize Israel. And the fact that the BBC is falling for it is absolutely outrageous, and they should no longer call themselves the news organizations if they behave in that manner. Israeli officials and watchdog groups have had a number of gripes with the BBC over the years. This Olympic story falls in line with a long-standing accusation that the BBC slants its reporting to deny Jewish rights to Jerusalem. But other stories have infuriated Israelis as well, like the coverage of the horrific Fogel family murders in 2011 on the settlement of Itamar. The throats of very young children were slashed by Palestinian terrorists in that attack, but the BBC chose to cover it inside another story on settlements. When they finally posted an article on the attack, they put the words five Israelis killed in quotes as if it weren't a fact. The BBC says they made a mistake in that case. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.